Tonight, you have a big responsibility. There are five people waiting in a room next door. They cannot hear or see our discussions. You have to decide which one of them will receive $25,000. I was born in Gross Point Farms, Michigan. It's a suburb of Detroit. My dad was an architect. My mother worked at a department store as a buyer. My big cathartic moment was when I was about 10 years old. I started to realize I was never going to be sexually interested in the women the same way I was sexually interested in the guys. I liked the guys. I didn't like the girls. Okay, first to you, Icona, what do you think? He surprised me. <laughs> Jim surprised you. Yeah, what surprised me about him is that he was gay. No, it's the wrong hookup. What does that mean, wrong hookup? <laughs> there are certain things that are on a woman that are for a man to hook up with, you know, and a man and a man does not hook up properly. So for you, it's all. more of an anatomy thing rather yeah, than a heart and so. emotion yeah. and spiritual thing? Well, I think that... the gay community, trust me, it hooks up. It does. It works actually very well. <laughs> it does. It does. Yeah, can I say something real quick? I've been around a lot of different people. People are not born gay. I don't care what anybody says. It's not genetics. It's a learned trait. My point of view, a biblical perspective. Um, it's not supposed to be that way. Michael. Where did you learn to be gay? Um, you know, Where did you learn I to went be gay? to a very special school for it. Uh, it, was, it was an all boys school. No, I had two heterosexual parents who loved me and were fantastic, who were wonderful. Um, and I was gay. I am gay. I was born that way. When you started realizing you liked women during puberty, I started realizing I liked men. That's not up for discussion. I mean, there's nothing that supports that that argument that it's it's a it's a choice i wish people more people knew more gay people to really talk about this because when you talk about it you finally get it and if you're forming your opinion from a heterosexual world with no gay people and, and no interaction and not learning then that i would call that ignorant you know what i, I mean do know gay people but and i'd also know that most gay people are gay because somewhere when they were little, about around two, three, or four, maybe five years old, they were raped. Sometimes oh, eight. Man. You know, a lot of Whoa. a lot of guys have been raped Whoa. when they were little, you know, and they I'm get sorry. confused. And that that's the reason why they grew up to be like this. Way over the line. I would love to see whatever document or whatever I you're reading where <laughs> a lot got of gay guys are like that. So I kind of that most of them are like that. Most absolutely of them. I don't agree with her. Me. <laughs> After high school I went to college at McGill in Montreal. From there, I went to graduate school in Ithaca, New York, and went back to Washington, D.C., where I uh, worked in database engineering and manufacturing logistics. <sighs> How boring. Until I met Frank. We dated for a full year um, before he moved in. I just kept falling more and more in love with him. He's just such a uh, dynamic, charismatic person. We were married in February 2004. We, we had an opportunity to go up to San Francisco during a brief period of time when they were performing marriages. We actually received formal notification that our uh, marriage had been annulled. Frank and I decided that we wanted to have children. Uh, we got uh, some eggs from a donor, fertilized them, implanted, uh, implanted the eggs in the surrogate, so now our surrogate is pregnant with twins. I'm thrilled. He basically is having a, a child through um, a surrogate mom. How do you explain that to your children when they get older? Well, daddy, where did I come from? You know, well, son, you were in a test tube or, you know, you were, you were bought from a shelf. And, you know, they don't have the same background or upbringing as, as traditional traditional children which may not be the correct term gay people can adopt they adopt so many children yes they do and when they have their own it's better having two happy fantastic parents uh, regardless of their gender than one miserable woman or one miserable father or two miserable kids. married couple who doesn't want to be together yeah, that's a good point, but what about the ramifications of these kids growing up and saying well i have two mommies and i have two or i have two fathers i've had i know couples like that i understand and that. they yeah. are not taking very well to that go deck Decades ago, when there was first, you know, black people hooking up with white people, that was the same argument. Oh, it's not. Oh, wow, the kids are going to grow up black and white. They're going to yeah, be confused. Yeah, but that's male and female. They that's are. not male and male and female. Really female. I don't. Ralph, 
Who have you voted for? I voted for Naya. I believe that she's come to a place in her life where she's able to make some wise decisions. I'd like to see her win. I voted for Naya because I think that she actually is the better choice. Michael? I voted for Jim. Not because he's gay, but I think I want to reward him for living such a great life. You know, married, nine years, two kids. He deserves it. Michelle? I voted for Naya. I feel that I've grown to respect her and her decisions that she made, whereas before in the beginning, I didn't respect any of her decisions, but now I have. I feel that she's really sincere and she's real. And I really feel that she could do good with the money. Patrick? I voted for Jim. And I voted for Jim because of what he said about how he and his husband, regardless of who accept it, accepts it, they tell each other that they love each other a lot. And they remind each other that they're together once a month. And that's like the epitome of what love is. Mm -hmm. And that's what we should all be on this planet trying to do is do that and love. And he's a stand-up guy. Jim, what would you have done with the money if you would have won? Well, I think that one of the best things we could give our kids would be parents who are legally married. So we would probably have given the majority of the money to uh, an organization to bring gay marriage to this state and this mm -hmm. country, like so many other countries. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.